Hello, good evening. Yes, good evening to each and every one of you, wherever you may be watching us from, wherever you may be listening to us from. Thank you for joining us tonight, or maybe I should say this morning, depending on where you are at. Thank you so much for being here. God bless you. Welcome back to our prayers for this week. We are so glad you made it. We are now at about uh, 800 episodes with over 124,000 downloads on the podcast. I have not even taken time out to check how many views we've had so far on Facebook. Thank you so much for making these things possible. Please don't be tired of sharing the links to whichever platform you are on. Our motivation for asking you to share is really not money because we don't monetize our platforms. Our motivation is very simple. For people to be blessed. Let me stop right here and ask those of you who are with us right now to join me to pray for someone who just sent me a text message right now. Just as we were going on the air, I received a text message. And the text message simply says, please pray for me. All right? I don't want to be the only one to pray this prayer, so I want to ask you all, wherever you are, in Africa, in Europe, in the United States, in the Caribbean islands, and maybe you are even listening to uh, a delayed edition of this program, I want you to help me lift this individual up, that whatever that please pray for me entails, the Lord will give a miracle. The Lord will break every yoke where yokes need to be broken. The Lord will deliver where deliverance is necessary. The Lord will heal where healing is necessary. I want you to please lift up your voices everywhere. And let's pray for this individual who sent me this text. You don't need to know this person's name. Just simply say, whoever sent a text to Bishop, I want God to touch, to heal, to deliver, to rescue, to break every yoke. And if there is an attack going on, that God will bundle the attack and return it to the sender or senders in the mighty name of Jesus. We believe in prayer on this prayer line. That's why we call it a prayer line. Every attack right now from the pits of hell, we pray that the fire of God will show up in that very location where the attack is coming from and blow them up and blow them away. Every demonic personality that has been sent on an errand against this individual. We bind them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope you are not just saying amen to my prayer. I hope you are praying also. We decree right now that the Lord would deliver the person that sent me this text message and said, please pray for me. And we are all praying. And if two of us shall agree as on earth as touching anything that we ask for, it shall be granted. So we all agree together that whatever this pray for me entails, the Lord will do exceeding abundantly above that which this individual asks or think in the name of Jesus. Deliver, rescue, set free in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to thank God for hearing and answering our prayers right now. And I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will be with us on this program tonight. And that great things will happen even as we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. The theme for this week is delivered out of them all. And I think that individual actually needs that. Delivered out of them all. I extracted those words from the words of St. Paul in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 10 and verse 11. It says, But thou hast fully known my doctrine, 
my manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came to me in Antioch and at Iconium and at Lystra. Listen to this now. Which persecutions I endured. Ah, like the next statement. But out of them all, the Lord delivered me. That's where I got it from. Out of them all, the Lord delivered me. I want to say that one more time. Out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Now, Paul in that place talked of persecutions he faced at three separate locations. Persecutions in Antioch, persecutions in Iconium, and persecutions in Lystra. Persecutions that by the grace of God, he faced headlong. And at each location, the Lord delivered him. Let me give you a rundown of what those persecutions comprised of as recorded in the Acts of the Apostles. Let's begin in Acts chapter 13 in verse 45. It says, And when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. In verse 50 it says, But the Jews starred up the devout and honorable women, and the chief men of the city, and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and expelled them out of their coasts. And they shook off the dust of their feet against them, and came unto Iconium. Chapter 14, verse 19. And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium, who persuaded the people, and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. How be it, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up and came into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derbe. And when they had preached the gospel to that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. Look at chapter 14, verses 1 and 2. And it came to pass in Iconium that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews and so spake that a great multitude, both of Jews and also of Greeks, believed. But the unbelieving Jews stripped up the Gentiles, starred up the Gentiles, and made their minds evil affected against the brethren. Let me read one more scripture, Acts of the Apostles chapter 14, verse 5 and verse 6. This is what it says. And when there was an assault made both of the Gentiles and also of the Jews with their rulers, to use them despitefully and to stone them. They were aware of it and fled unto Lystra and Derby, cities of Lyconian, and unto the region that lieth, lieth round about. Now let me quickly show you the list of things they did to them in those three cities as extracted from the verses I just read. Number one, envy. Envy led these people to contradict what Paul taught and to blaspheme the name of the God that he taught about. Number two, his enemies stirred up people against him. Number three, <clears throat> they rejected him and they ejected him. Number four, they persuaded people to stone Paul to the point that they left him for dead. They didn't care whether he died or not. They just, well, I think we finished him. So they dragged him out of the city. Number five, 
unbelieving Jews stirred up people against him, poisoning the minds of people against Paul to use him despitefully and to stone him. Well, to use despitefully means to attack in such a way that causes bodily injury. But you know what amazes me? He was delivered from all these things. He was delivered from them all. Even when it was so bad that he fainted and they left him for dead, he still came back to life. Can I encourage you tonight? I don't care what they do to you. You're going to come back to life. I don't care what they do to you. They're not going to be able to kill you. They will kill themselves in the process and damn their souls in the process. Paul said, with all this nonsense that they put me through, glory to God, God delivered me from them all. Not that God delivered him from some of them, or most of them, or many of the things he went through. The Bible says God delivered him from all of them. He was delivered from them all. So shall be your portion. So shall be your portion. So shall be my portion. Delivered out of them all. You know what I wanted to do tonight as we keep on praying? I wanted to make a mental list of the things that you are going through right now. Make a mental list of the things you've been subjected to. Make a list of the things you have been subjected to. And guess what? Put them on one side of the scale. And put God on the other side of the scale. God will still outweigh them. And God will deliver you, not from some of them, not from many of them, but from them all. The Lord will be faithful to deliver you. Look at the account of Paul himself in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. I love this. He said, who delivered us from so great a death? Did you hear that? And doth deliver, and in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. What a man this man was. He said, what we were confronted with was death. Death. These people were ready to kill us. But you know what God did? He delivered us in the past. He's delivering us in the present. And we trust that he will yet deliver us. That's where I want your faith to be. The God of yesterday that delivered you is still the God of today who is delivering you. And it will still be the God of tomorrow who will deliver you tomorrow. You know, Peter seemed to agree with Paul in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. He said, the Lord knoweth, yes, he does. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. God knows how to deliver out of not just temptations but trials also. My question is what are the things again that you are going through right now? The same God that delivered Paul and his companions from what he called a great death. That same God will surely deliver you in the name of Jesus. Remember our text. Paul said, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and at Iconium and at Lystra, which persecutions I endured, but out of them all. That, that, somebody should sing a song of that, people. Out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Wow, that encourages me. And I don't know where you have been. Maybe you've been to Lystra or to Iconium or maybe to Antioch. And I don't know what you've been through in all these places that you've been to. Because many of us have been in many places. And we've gone through many things in many places. But like Paul the Apostle, God will deliver you out of whatever, wherever. Did you hear what I said? Whatever, wherever, 
God will deliver you from them all. And guess what? You will live to tell the story how you are able to overcome. Well, I think I've talked enough tonight. We are here to pray, not to preach. So we're going to go straight into our prayer time. And I want us to pray with thanksgiving first. Let's give him praise for bringing us together again this week. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. We honor you. We glorify your holy name. Thank you for bringing us together tonight to pray and to call upon your name. I want you to bless his name for keeping you since we left here last Friday. God has been good to us. God has been gracious to us. What a mighty God we serve. He's kept us. He's washed over us. He's provided for us. Come on, bless his holy name tonight. Thank him for the prayers of last week on making us to forget the toils, the tears, and the snares that we went through growing up. Oh, we went through some things growing up. But God was good to us, and God is still good to us. I want you to bless his name, honor him, and adore him for making us forget things that we went through, things that we were subjected to. Thank God because we have requested for the Lord, and he answered us. And uh, it was Joseph who said, look at Manasseh. Oh, God has made me to forget. I want you to thank God for things God has done for you and things God will do for you to cause you to forget completely everything that ever happened, that they will become inconsequential after God is done with you. You will look at yourself and say, this is nothing. Look at what God has done. I mean, there's no need to worry about what they did. Look at what God did. And we thank God because of the promises of God to us last week that he will do much more than we have ever asked him. Thank God because as we requested, the Lord surely answered us. Thank him because he will cause things to happen to me. He will cause things to happen to you that will compensate us all for all we have been through through our childhood, for what we have been through through our, in our husband's house, for what we have been through for getting married, for what we have been through for going to a particular college, for what we have been through for going to a particular church. God, have mercy. I wanted to just thank God because there's going to be a compensation for everything you've been subjected to. Father, will bless you. I told you some places of worship are like places war sheep is what you find yourself in. But we thank God for keeping us and watching over us. Remember Manasseh? That means to forget. Forget about it. I want you to thank him because of the names that you have given your children. They are meaningful names. And you remember last week we used the names of our children to pray whatever they meant. We pray that they will be reality in their lives. And even our own names, we pray that our names will just leave themselves out prophetically in our lives. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. Thank God because as we have prayed, the names of our children will surely become reality in, our, in their lives. And our own names also will become reality in our lives. Bless his name and worship him for the prayers of tonight. On deliverance from all our troubles and from all our trials. Delivered out of them all. This is good. Oh, please don't go anywhere. Bless his name for the prayers of tonight. On the deliverance we are going to get from all our troubles. From all our trials. From all our temptations. And there are very, very many for many of us. Bless the Lord because is not a respect our persons. What he did for Paul, he will do for you. What he did for Peter, he will do for you. What he did for men and women, even in this contemporary age, he will do for you, my friend. Praise God that he will give us appropriate prayer points tonight. It will not just be these 47 or 48 prayer points that I wrote down here. It will be prayer points from his own mind. I want you to pray that the Lord will give us personal prayer points. He will give us corporate prayer points even as we pray. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray that sin and unbelief 
will be laid down under our feet tonight, that the blood of Jesus will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The Bible says, and I always say this every Thursday and every Friday, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. I want you to pray that if there be any sin that you know or sin that you don't know, the blood of Jesus will walk for you. The blood of Jesus will wash you. The blood of Jesus will purge you. The blood of Jesus will purify you. I want you to confess any sin that you know of, any sin of omission, any sin of commission, any sin of even ignorance. I want you to pray that the Lord will have mercy on you and wash you and cleanse you and purge you, that the devil will not take whatever you have done and bring it before God and say, God, you cannot answer her because of this. You cannot answer answer him. Because of this, Father, we plead the blood of Jesus right now. Let the blood of Jesus cover us. Let the blood of Jesus purge us. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. I want you to pray that all unbelief in you, that was, uh, we have prayed this one before now. I've been praying this one since 1963. I want you to just pray that unbelief will not spring up in your heart. Because if we regard unbelief in our heart, the Lord will not hear us. The Bible says, let not that man think he can receive anything of the Lord. Father, we want to receive many things of you tonight. So we pray that you will remove all doubts, all double-mindedness, all unbelief from us. In the name of Jesus, what about grace tonight? I want you to pray for grace to be strengthened. God will give us grace to pray tonight. God will give us power to pray tonight. God will give us anointing to pray tonight. I want you to pray for me that the Lord will help me as I lead these prayers to be able to pray, to be able to lead that I will be strengthened in the inner man, even on the outer man, to be able to lead these prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself also that grace will be given to you. You know, without him, we can do nothing. So you need him even to be able to pray for three minutes. Talk less of the next 37 minutes. Father, strengthen us to pray, enable us to pray, energize us to pray, empower us to pray even as we come before you tonight in the name of Jesus. Grace to pray. Let it be our portion, Lord. Pour it out upon us. Grace to be able to call upon you in the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray for our friends in Europe who are supported supposed to be sleeping right now. I want us to pray for our friends in Africa who are supposed to be sleeping right now. But they are, they are up. They are praying with us. They are calling God with us. The flesh is fighting them, but the spirit is willing. I want us to pray for them that the spirit will be revived inside them to pray. That the flesh will not overcome the spirit in the name of Jesus. That they will stay alert. That they will stay awake. All through the next few minutes that we are going to be praying, that they will not fall asleep. That they will not want in thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, just move among us today. I want you to pray that the Lord will move among us today and strengthen us even as we pray tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray, 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 pray that the Lord will just strengthen us to pray. Father, give us strength to be able to pray, oh God. I want you to pray that as it was for Paul the Apostle, tonight will be a night of deliverance for you in that name of Jesus. I pray for myself that as it was for Paul the Apostle, tonight will be a night of deliverance for me in the name of Jesus. I will not just lead you in prayer, but God will do something new, something wonderful, something fresh, even in my own life, that all my troubles, all my trials, all my temptations, all my persecutions, the Lord will deliver me from them all. I love what Paul said. So it's possible to win 100%. I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will give you 100% victory over all your trials, over all your enemies, over all the foolishness that is being done to you. Father God, tonight will be a night of 100% freedom for each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. My friend, don't just look at me. I want you to pray, please, pray, please, pray, please, pray, please. I want you to decree and declare that by the grace of God, you shall be delivered tonight out of all your afflictions. Lord, by your grace, make it a decree. Say, oh Lord, by your grace tonight I shall be delivered. Say, by your grace tonight I will be delivered. Say, by your grace tonight I must be delivered. Say, by your grace tonight I shall be delivered from all my afflictions, from all my troubles, from all my persecutions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, arise and deliver me and rescue me, oh God. In the 
name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, those places that Paul was, he was in Antioch, he was in Lystra, he was in Iconium, and he ran into trouble in every one of those places. Can you pray tonight that, O oh Lord, wherever I have been in life, and whatever I have been exposed to where I have been, Papa, deliver me from them all in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that wherever you have ever been to, whatever you have ever been exposed to, the Lord will bring his power and deliver you from whatever it is, from wherever it is, in the name of Jesus. Come on, mention the names of those cities that you have ever been. Maybe you have lived in Antioch. Tell God, whatever I've ever been exposed to in Antioch, whatever I've been exposed to in Iconium, whatever I've been exposed to in Lystria, oh Lord God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me completely. Mention the names of the cities you have been and some of you have been there just overnight maybe just a stay overnight and you <laughs> I'm laughing because sometimes you stay in an hotel and you're exposed to something in that very hotel room 103 that they lodge you that night I want you to pray that any bed you have ever slept on you don't understand what I'm talking about any bed that you have ever slept on somebody slept on a bed in Africa and something just told them lift up the bed and there was money laid all over that bed all over that bed they put the mattress on top of it and he said what is this money doing here it's all ritual if you sleep on a bed like that you are finished financially so he went and called the people at the front desk and they came and they looked at the bed and they said you know what we're going to go through every room tonight and we're going to wake up everyone that is sleeping tonight and they found money everywhere and these harvesters will go and harvest the money and they've tapped into your glory and they're going to use it for foolishness. I want you to pray whatever I've been exposed to in my life, wherever I have been, oh God, wherever I have slept, oh God, whatever I've been exposed to in those cities, in those towns, in those rooms, Father, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Come on, open your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now let's pray about whoever, 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 whoever are the people that have been exposed to in those cities. Oh Lord, deliver me from whatever evil they have ever done to me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. This thing is serious. So he went to Iconium, he went to Lystra, he went to Antioch, and it was trouble everywhere with the people there. I want you to pray whatever trouble you have picked up in your Iconium, whatever trouble you have picked up in your Lystra, whatever trouble you have picked up in your Antioch. The Lord will come and deliver you, deliver you, deliver you. The houses you have stepped in. You know there are some houses you stepped in that you should never have stepped into them. If you look back now and you think that, ah, I wish I never stepped into that house. Because you stepped into that house and you took a wife. You stepped into that house and you took a husband. And look at your life now. Look at what it did to you. I want you to pray whoever I've been exposed to in my life. Whoever I've ever been exposed to in my life. And I've deposited wickedness in my life. And I've deposited trouble in my life. And I've deposited tears in my life. Oh Lord God who delivered Paul. Come and deliver me to Tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Papa, come and deliver me tonight. If he never went to Antioch, if he never went to Iconium, if he never went to Lystra, he will never have gone through all these things and met all these foolish people. The same thing for you and for me. There are some places who have been better had we never gone. There are some people who have been better had we never met. There are some places who have been better had we never eaten. Oh Lord, we ask you to night. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every city of Antioch, every city of Iconium, every city of Lystra, whoever I've been exposed to in all the places I've been in life, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, whatever evil I've been exposed to in those cities. Father, deliver me completely in the name of Jesus. Mention the names of bad people that you have ever met, that you have been exposed to, and say, Lord, whatever this person did to 
me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Maybe it's even an in-law. Father, deliver me completely in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Pastor Prince in New Zealand, I salute you, sir. God bless you. I saw your program that is coming up online. May the Lord bless the program mightily in the name of Jesus. I enjoyed your sermon last Sunday too. In the name of Jesus, a mighty man of God is, uh, is joining us and praying for me tonight. I want you to pray that the negative marks, the negative prints that they have left upon your life. That was a man, Pastor Prince, in New Zealand that I met, uh, I think it was June or July, and he left a great print in my life. I bless the Lord for you and your family. I want you to pray negative marks, negative marks and prints that people have left in your life will be blotted out by the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, whoever I have met and my life has not been the same. Whoever I have met and it's not the same for good, it's now for evil that I wish I never met them. Oh Lord, whatever print they put on my life, whatever mark they put on my life, I pray Lord God that you will blot them out tonight. Come and open your mouth and let us pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. It was in Iconium, it was in Lystra, it was in Antioch that he went and he had to go there. It's not that he didn't have to, he had to go there. I want you to pray that wherever I have had to go, whatever places I've had to go, and I've had to meet with people, wicked people, envious people, jealous people, and they have done me harm, and they have done me evil, and I've carried this burden, I've carried this load, this many years. Tonight, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Come on, open your mouth and fire prayer that the Lord will touch you and deliver you and release you. I want you to pray that all your pains, all your afflictions will expire tonight like those of the apostle did. Apostle Paul said, God delivered me out of them all. Hallelujah! I don't care how many they are. The God that we serve is able to deliver us. Maybe you've married once and married twice and married thrice and married four times and met all kinds of men, met all kinds of women and they just left serious, serious problems in your life. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus tonight. See all my pains, all my afflictions. Let them expire tonight like those of Paul expired. Yes, Paul couldn't stop them from happening, but they couldn't stop it from living. Say, oh Lord, the things I have been through in life, I can't stop them from happening, but they cannot, they cannot stop from staying. They cannot stay on me. They must live in the name of Jesus. I rebuke all my pains. I rebuke all my afflictions. May they expire tonight. May they expire tonight. Come on, command them to expire right now. Expire right now. Expire right now. All my pains, all my afflictions that have been put upon me by the powers of wickedness. Oh Lord, deliver me from them. Deliver me from them. Let them expire. Paul said I was delivered out of them all. Can I ask you to pray tonight? Say the pains that I know, the afflictions that I know, Oh, the pains that I don't know, <clears throat> the afflictions that I don't know, Papa, let them expire tonight like those of Paul the Apostle did. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I like what Paul said. He said, you all know my purpose, you all know my faith, you all know my long-suffering, you all know my charity, you all know my patience. Powerful graces. I want you to pray for those graces in your life. It will help you through any trouble. It will help you through any turmoil. Say, Father, grace me with purpose. Grace me with faith. Grace me with long suffering. Grace me with charity. Grace me with patience. Let them be mighty, mighty, mighty upon my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me be known as a man of purpose. Let me be known as a woman of faith. Let me be known as a man of long suffering. Let me be known as a woman of charity. Let me be known as a people of patience. In the name of Jesus. Those were the graces upon Paul the Apostle. I want you to pray that the Lord will give you grace. Come on, say grace, 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 grace. Oh Lord, we need your grace tonight. Oh Lord, give me grace to endure and not to be crushed by trials and tribulations. Did you hear what I said? Say, oh Lord, let me be given 
given grace tonight uh, to endure and not be crushed and not be flattened by trials and tribulations. You know, some trials and tribulations will love to flatten us, will love to crush us. Say, I shall not be crushed. Say, I will not be crushed. Say, I must not be crushed. In the name of Jesus, Papa will give me grace to endure and not be crushed by trials, by tribulations, by troubles of this life. Those of you, my friends in ministry, there are many tribulations in ministry. Oh, hey, there are many trials in ministry. Oh, ah, Pastor Prince, I heard what you said when you went to pray somewhere. I think that's the place you said that the sun rises, or yeah, I think it rises. The sun rises in New Zealand, and you gave a prayer point, and trouble started in that place. Yes, that's the kind of work God has called us to do. I want you to pray. Grace not to be crushed. Grace not to be crushed. Grace not to be crushed. Papa, give it to me. Give it to us. Give it to me. Give it to us. In our family, let us not be crushed. Our ministry, let it not be crushed. Our business, let it not be crushed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, as you give Paul grace, give me grace. Give my husband grace. Give my wife grace. Give my children grace. They shall not be crushed by trials. They shall not be crushed by tribulations in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know what Paul the Apostle said? Paul the Apostle said, none of these things move me. Hey, Lord, they get me there. Paul looked at all his troubles. Paul looked at all his tribulations. And Paul concluded and he said, you know what? None of these things move me. I don't care. They don't move me. They don't trouble me. Oh, God, I'm here tonight. I want you to pray. Let me never, 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 never be moved. Let me never, never, never be moved by what anyone anywhere does against me. Come on, open your mouth and let's believe God tonight. Say, oh, Lord, let me not be moved by what anyone does. Let me not be moved by what anyone anywhere does against me, O Lord. No matter how strong, no matter how powerful. At this point, Paul the Apostle was dealing with Nero. We're going to talk about that tomorrow when we pray again. I want you to pray no matter how strong they are, no matter how powerful they are, no matter how devilish they are, I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Say, I will not be moved. Say, I must not be moved. Let none of these things move me, O God, that the enemy throws against me anywhere and everywhere. Let them not trouble me. Let them not move me. Let them not trouble me. Let them not move me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible says, Paul said, out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Hallelujah. Look at the victors on this program tonight. Look at the victorious on this program tonight. Out of them all, the Lord delivered me. I want you to pray, Lord, let me be able to say like Paul the Apostle tonight. Night. Let me be able to say like Paul the Apostle tonight, out of them all, you will deliver me. Out of them all, you must deliver me. Out of them all, you shall deliver me. I want you to decree tonight, whatever is coming against me right now, whatever is standing in my way right now, whatever is being thrown at me right now, I claim deliverance, I claim deliverance, I claim deliverance, I claim deliverance over you, I claim victory over you. Come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. Come and open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. Say, oh Lord, let me be able to say like Paul the Apostle that out of them all the Lord delivered me. If it is financial trouble, out of them all the Lord delivered me. If it is, oh Lord, warfare trouble, out of them all the Lord delivered me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray, Lord, overturn them. Overturn them. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Overturn them. Overturn them. Overturn them. Them. Every attack, overturn them. Every trouble, overturn them. Every attack, overturn them. Every trouble, overturn them. Let me be untouchable, O oh Lord. Let me be invincible, O oh Lord. Let me be invincible, O oh Lord. No trouble, no attack shall be able to stay in my life. Papa, overturn them like you did for Paul the Apostle. O oh Lord, Paul was not lying when he said out of them all, the Lord 
Lord, delivered me out. Hey, Lord, out of them all, oh, Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. All the troubles in my life that as a result of envy. It was envy, oh, it was envy. Ah, people, people, people. And they were carrying the same Bible, oh. They were calling the same God, oh. And the devout men and the devout women, they couldn't stand it. They were envious. We see that in ministry all the time, don't we? I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh, Lord, have mercy upon me, oh, God. Troubles in my life that are as a result of envy. Troubles in my life, my counterparts, my equals, my acquaintances that are envious of me. My pastors, my bishops, my archbishops who are envious because they see my church. They see the power on me. They see anointing on me. Or maybe they they even see my future. I want you to pray, Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from troubles that come from envy. Papa, deliver us from troubles that come from envy. In the name of Jesus, I want you to say disappoint, 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 disappoint. Come on, help me pray wherever you are tonight. The Lord will disappoint the devices of those who are deliberately contradicting and blaspheming you because of envy. They are contradicting you. They are blaspheming you because of envy. You know, there are people that you bring into a church and they begin to contradict you. They begin to blaspheme you. They begin to say foolishness at your back. It happens in the family. It happens in the church. It happens in the extended family. Oh Lord, all their devices, those who are deliberately and intentionally contradicting me and blaspheming me. Oh Lord, because of envy, because of envy, Father, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Yes, deliver me tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray that as they did not stop Paul, as they could not stop Paul, hey, hey, and as they could not destroy the works of his hands. Did you hear what I said? They could not destroy the works of his hands. I want you to pray so let my portion be. Let them fight from morning till night. Let them fight me in Aconium, in Lystra, wherever. Let them fight me in Africa. Let them fight me in Europe. Let them fight me in North America. Let them fight me in South America. Let them fight me in the Caribbean island. Wherever they fight me, O Lord, let them not be able to destroy the work of my hands in the name of Jesus. I want you to look at your hands and say, my hands, your work shall never be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, your work shall never be destroyed. I don't know what the works of your hands are. I don't know what to do for a living. I don't know what to plan to do for a living. But I want you to make that covenant between you and God tonight. Night. Hey, the work of my hands shall never be destroyed. The works of my hands shall never be destroyed. The works of my hands shall never be destroyed. I want you to pray that every plot, every plot, every plot of people using malicious words. Hey, Jesus, have mercy. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me out of the words of men. Deliver me out of the words of men. Oh, to stir people up against me. Did you? hear what Bishop is saying tonight? Words that are flying all over your city. Words that are flying all over your town. Words that are flying all over your your, your, your family uh, to destroy you. Uh, oh Lord God, to stir people up against you. Uh, so people's heart will be turned against you. Uh, Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment I shall condemn. Uh, I want you to pray that all tongues uh, that are stirring people up against Against me, I condemn you tonight. Uh, every tongue, every tongue in my family. Oh Lord, stirring people up against me. Uh, every tongue in my family, stirring people up against me. Uh, every tongue in my church, uh, stirring people up against me. Uh, every tongue, oh Lord, in my business arena, stirring people up against me. Uh, oh Lord, I condemn them in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Uh, can I ask you to pray? Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, plead my course plead my cause, plead my cause to those who have been negatively influenced against my life. Can I, t- <laughs> can I tell you something from personal experience? I cannot tell you people who don't know me. They've never met me. Oh, they've never met me. They were only told things about me and they believed it. Seriously. And they believed it. 
They were told something about me and they believed it. And then when I show up, they say, oh, that's the man, that's the man, that's the man. That's the man that we, are, we heard about. And what they heard is not true. I want you to pray that the Lord will plead your cause uh, to those who have been negatively influenced against your life. Uh, say, oh, Lord, they've been told things and they believe them. Uh, they've been told things and they believe them. Uh, Papa, plead my cause, plead my cause, plead my cause. Uh, let those who are even persuaded against me uh, be persuaded for me by you, oh God. Uh, all those who have been persuaded against me, uh, let them be persuaded for me by you, oh God. Uh, you know, someone told me said ah, it's good to hear from the other side though we only heard from that side we didn't hear from your side i'm sorry for what we believed i'm sorry for what we said behind your back say oh lord those who have been persuaded against me let them be persuaded for me by your power oh lord influence them oh lord clear me oh god plead my case plead my cause in the name of jesus can i ask you to pray that the lord will overturn them everybody say lord overturn them everybody say lord over Overturn them. Oh Lord, overturn them. Overturn what? Say, oh Lord, overturn all the lies, all the misrepresentations about me that people have believed. Ah, Lord Jesus. Overturn them, overturn them, overturn them. All the lies, all the misrepresentations about me that people have believed. Oh God, we have been through this. All of us have been through this thing. Overturn them, oh God. All all the lies, all the misrepresentations uh, about us uh, that people have believed, uh, people have spread them, especially in ministry, especially in families, uh, especially on the jobs, in professions. Uh, people will just say all kinds of nonsense uh, and people will believe all kinds of foolishness. Uh, overturn the lies, oh God, against me. Overturn all the misrepresentations about me. Overturn all the lies about me. Overturn all the misrepresentations about me that people have believed. In the name of Jesus. Why did they lie against Paul? Just to damage him, that's all. Just to damage him, damage his ministry, damage his reputation. I want you to pray everywhere I've been damaged. Father, repair every damage for me, O oh God. Everywhere I've been damaged, O oh Lord, Father, repair it, repair it, repair it, repair it. And from now on, let no intended damage against me be possible. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to do something now. I want you to mention those things. I want you to mention those areas where you need deliverance right now. I want you to tell the Lord, deliver me from them all, like you did for Paul the Apostle. Where, where are the areas where you need deliverance? I want you to cry to God. I want you to mention it to God tonight. Say, oh Lord, I need deliverance. Paul said he, you delivered him from them all. You delivered him from them all. God is not a respecter of persons. If he delivered Paul from them all, he would deliver you from them all. Say, oh Lord, mention them all. Say, oh Lord. Here are they all. Mention, mention, mention. I can't mention them for you. My own are too many. I can't even mention them now. But in the in the in the in the privacy of where you are, mention them to God. Lord, I need deliverance from this. I need deliverance from that. I need deliverance from that. Even if you need deliverance from yourself, tell the Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from this trouble, deliver me from this trial, deliver me from this temptation, deliver me from this foolishness. Mention those things. Mention those areas. Mention those people uh, that you need deliverance from. Uh, oh Lord, uh, deliver me from Mr. So-and-so. Deliver me from Mrs. So-and-so on my job. Uh, deliver me from Pastor So-and-so. Deliver me from Bishop So-and-so. Whichever area you need to be delivered from. Uh, maybe you've got into a relationship uh, and you found out after you got into the relationship that this is an unequal yoke. But to break, you cannot break. Uh, God can break it for you overnight. Uh, what are you talking about? Say, oh Lord, I'm in a yoke with so and so. I'm in a bondage with so and so. Break it and deliver me. Break it and deliver me. Bring me out. They've threatened me that if I leave, they will do this, they will do that. Oh Lord, I surrender myself to you. Into thy hand, I commit my spirit. Father, those areas, oh God, that you need to be delivered from right now, tell him to deliver you from them all. Paul said, out of them all, the Lord delivered me 
me. In the name of Jesus. Are you mentioning those things right now? All the arrows, all the fights, all the foolishness that the enemy has done against you. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from them all. Deliver me from them all. Maybe you don't need deliverance from them all. Maybe it's your children. Mention the things that your children are under. Mention the things that your children are going through. And say, Father, deliver them from them all. Deliver my son. Deliver my daughter. Deliver my in-law. Deliver my grandchildren from this. Deliver them from that. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out of them all, the Lord delivered me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It was wicked men. Oh, wicked men. Wicked men. Wicked men. You know what they did? They so worked it that Paul was rejected and Paul was ejected. Did you hear what I said? He was rejected and he was ejected. I want you to pray, Lord God, where the actions of men have led to my being rejected, where the actions of men have led to my being ejected. Lord, overrule for me and restore me. Lord, overrule for me and restore me. Lord, overrule for me and restore me. Where men, men and their wicked actions have led me to being rejected, to being ejected. Father, overrule for me, overrule for me, overrule for me, overrule for me, overrule for me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. What about these stones? The Bible says they stoned them, they stoned Paul. In the name of Jesus, they stoned them. I want you to pray that tonight, Lord Jesus, people and powers that are throwing physical stones, that are throwing spiritual stones at me, let them not be able to end my life like they were not able to end the life of Paul the Apostle. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every stone they throw at me, let it bounce back on them. Every stone they throw at me, let it bounce back on them. People and powers, powers and people, people and powers, humans and spirits, throwing physical stones, throwing spiritual stones at me, O Lord. Let them not be able to put an end to my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that where these stones have hit you and have negatively affected your life, the Lord will revive you like he revived Paul. You know, they stoned Paul so much, he just passed out dead, but God revived him, God revived me, oh Lord, revive me, revive me, open your mouth, revive me. Every area that I've been stoned to death in my life, every area that has been crushed and destroyed in my life, Papa, Revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me. You know, stones, stones, stones could negatively affect you. I want you to pray we are like Paul. I've been negatively affected. My strength has been depleted. My blood has been so flowing. I'm even short of blood. I want you to pray whichever way these stones are affecting your life. The Lord will come and revive you right now. Cry to God my friend. You need spiritual revival. You need physical revival. You need emotional revival. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We have been negatively affected by the stones, by the arrows. Papa revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me. Give me new strength. Give me new power. Give me new energy. Give me new grace. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know what I love about this? The Bible says the disciples, they went, they circled around Paul and they prayed for him and his life came back. I want you to pray. Say, oh Lord, don't let me lack intercessors in my life. Papa, don't let me lack intercessors in my life. I see a couple of men and women of God on this prayer line. May God give you intercessors in the name of Jesus. Say in all my trials, say in all my tribulations, let me not lack intercessors who will be around me, O Lord, like they were around Paul, who will encourage me and pray for me and lift me up. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that God will use you also to stand in the gap of those who are affected by stonings of men. Because as you are being stoned, so others are being stoned. As they pray for you, may God help you to pray 
for others also in the name of Jesus. Uh, you know, I'm smiling. Uh, they thought they killed him. Oh, they thought they killed him. They dragged me, dragged him out uh, of the town. They said, good riddance. But they were disappointed. Oh, because Paul got up. Oh, say by the grace of God, I shall get up from this. Uh, come on, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Uh, say whatever man has done to me, I shall get up from him. I shall get up. I shall get up. I shall get up. I shall walk again. I know they have made me lie down. I shall stand up. I shall sit up. And I shall stand up. And I shall walk in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, disappoint them. Come on, open your mouth and pray. We got just about six more minutes left. Say, oh Lord, disappoint them, disappoint them, disappoint them, disappoint them. <laughs> Those who left me for dead. Those who cast me out for dead. Papa, disappoint them, disappoint them, disappoint them by reviving me. Papa, they thought they have killed me financially. They thought they have killed me emotionally. They thought they have killed me professionally. Oh Lord, revive me and disappoint those who think I'm dead. Disappoint those who think I'm gone. I want you to pray that God will shock them by making you get up and show up. Did you hear what I said? Say, oh Lord, make me get up. Make me show up. Make me get up. Make me show up. Make me get up. Make me show up. In places where they don't ever want to see me again. Where they don't ever expect to see me again. Papa, make me get up. Make me go on. I shall go on. I shall not be stopped. Everybody open your mouth and say, I shall not be stopped. I am unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. No matter what they try, I see them in my dreams. No matter what they try, I see them in real life. By the grace of God, my church is unstoppable. I am unstoppable. My husband is unstoppable. My children are unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can see them rejoicing. No, I can see them rejoicing. I can see them dancing. That they finally got rid of him. But all of a sudden, their joy was cut short. Say, my father. Say, my father. Cut them short. Cut them off. Cut them short. Cut them off. Lord, I'm talking about their joy. The joy of those who think they have finished me. Oh, Lord, cut it short. Cut it off. Cut it short. Cut it off. Cut it short. Cut it off. Cut off the joy of those who think they have finished me, oh Lord. Cut short the joy of those who think they have finished me, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that all the attacks that are intended to cause you physical injury. All the attacks. Because that was it all. They were supposed to bring him physical injury. I want you to pray tonight. Every attack that is supposed to call me mental injury. Did you hear what I said? To cause you to run mad. All attacks right now going on against me uh, intended to cause me physical injury. Oh Lord, marital injury. Oh Lord, mental injury. Financial injury. Ministerial injury. Let those attacks amount to nothing. Uh, let those attacks amount to nothing. Come on, pray, 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 pray. They want you to be so injured. Uh, you won't even have a, an address anymore. I want you to pray. It's a lie. It shall not be. Uh, it must not be. It will not be. In the name of Jesus, all attacks intended to cause me physical injury, cause me marital injury, cause me financial injury, cause me ministerial injury. Oh Lord God, let them amount to nothing. Let them amount to nothing. Let them amount to nothing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on me tonight. All attacks, oh God, intended to cause me physical injury, marital injury, oh Lord. Mental injury, oh God. Financial injury, ministerial injury. Oh Lord, all attacks, oh God. Let them amount to nothing in the name of Jesus. Lord, like you were to Paul the Apostle, be unto me, oh Lord, my deliverer from death. You delivered, he said, he has delivered us from such a great death. Father God, I don't know the death that they planned for me this year. Deliver me from every death. They are going around, oh, they are <laughs> foolish people. Foolish people. They are going around, oh, and we must kill him. We must kill him. We must end him. We must end her. 
is a lie. You will not end him. You will not end her. You will not end me. In the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, like Paul the Apostle, be unto me my deliverer from death. He said he delivered us from such a great death. You know, people are going around saying you will see what will do to you. As if your life is in their hand. My life is not in your hand. Their life is not in your hand. Their life is in the hand of God. Say, O oh Lord, you who has my, hand, my life in your hand, disappoint them, O oh Lord. Deliver me from death. In the name of Jesus, say, I confess, I confess like Paul. You have delivered me from death. You know what Paul said? Paul said he has delivered us. He is delivering us. And he will yet deliver us. Past tense, present tense. Oh, future tense. I want you to make that confession like Paul tonight. Uh, oh Lord, you have delivered me from death. You are delivering me from death. And you will yet deliver me from death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, every death that they plan, every casket that they have built, they will sleep inside it, not me. In the name of Jesus. The Lord has delivered me. The Lord is delivering me. The Lord will yet deliver me. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. I just want you to pray as we close uh, that the Lord will help you to trust him as your deliverer. Oh Lord, strong, unshakable trust in God. Say, oh Lord, give me a strong and unshakable trust in you to be my deliverer in the name of Jesus. Uh, you know what Paul, uh, uh, Peter said? He said, God knows how to deliver the godly from trials, uh, from temptations. I want you to pray that whatever I'm going through right now, provide a way of escape for me. All my present trials. Uh, come on, pray. That's the last prayer point. Say, Lord, all my present trials, all my present troubles, all my present tribulations, all my present temptations, oh Lord, provide a way of escape for me. Because Peter said, you know how to deliver the godly out of temptations. You know how to deliver the godly out of trials. Father, provide a way of escape for me out of all my present trials, all my present warfare, all my present troubles, all my present temptations. I I cast them on Jesus. I cast them on the Holy Ghost. I cast them on you, God the Father. Deliver me. Provide a way of escape for me right now. In the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to say, Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I worship. Hey, I adore you. For answering my prayers, for delivering me and for rescuing me tonight. Father, I thank you. Father, I praise you. Father, I worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. You that is listening to me, you that is watching me, I decree that every prayer that you have prayed tonight will be yea and amen in your life. That from every evil work, from every wicked work, the Lord will deliver you and your glory will shine forth. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. I bless the name of the Lord for each and every one of you. I thank God that you joined us tonight. But please, if you thought, <laughs> if you thought tonight was good, wait till tomorrow. I already prepared the program for tomorrow. Our prayers will focus on another set of statements by Paul the Apostle in the area of deliverance. You know what Paul said? Hey, this Paul, oh. he said God delivered him from the mouth of the lion. Now think about that. It's not just from the pursuit of the lion. It's not just from the ambush of the lion. He had already entered the mouth of the lion. And when you enter the mouth of the lion, you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But you know what he said? He said, God delivered me. So I don't know what your state and your situation is. Oh, I don't know how bad it is and how hopeless it is. Oh, we're going to pray tomorrow night. So join us at 7 p.m. New York time. It's going to be a mighty, 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 mighty time of prayer. God will show up for you and God will deliver you. Please don't miss it. And don't forget to bring your seven prayer requests sheet with you when you are coming tomorrow. Shall we share the grace as we go to relax for tonight? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. 
Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. Go and relax and wake up delivered. Bye-bye.